It's a beautiful night with a fine view. In front of you is the star Sirius. The ancient Egyptians believed that this was the embodiment of their goddess Isis, the wife of Osiris and the mother of Horus. She is the archetype of the Mother Mary in the Christian faith. So is Horus the archetype for Jesus too? There are several tunnels and chambers throughout the pyramids at Giza in Egypt that align with the star Sirius. So this celestial mother figure was obviously very important to them millennia ago. The Dogon tribe of Mali have been semi-subsistent herders and hunter-gatherers for thousands of years, and they also revere Sirius as their most important star. Not only is it integral to their account of creation, but they were also aware that a smaller star, now known as Sirius B, accompanied Sirius in the sky. Sirius B is not visible to the human eye, and Western science was not aware of it until the creation of advanced telescopes in 1862. Yet the Dogon culture has been living without telescopes in harmony with nature for thousands of years. So how have they always known about it? In the modern era that we inhabit, authoritarian institutions like NASA would have us believe that Sirius is in fact a gigantic sun that is 8.6 light years away. This figure equates to roughly 81.5 trillion kilometers away. This is an impossibly large number. If this is true, then how does 83 times zoom reveal all of these intricate swirling patterns? These perceptions of reality are very different from each other. Perhaps the only thing that these different cultures can agree upon is that Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. Which one do you think is more likely to be true?